Okay, I think we are about ready to go. <clears throat> any dreams us Let robots swap it mostly over dream of electric sheep let's get this we done this. let's see <clears throat> last time on battle network 6 we made it past the uh standard chip door to find base sp there he didn't take that much time but after beating base sp we got most of the program advances, all but one, we defeated uh, a digital copy of our Beast Out form, followed by Base BX. Now all that's left. All that's left, we got four things. I still need to buy the, the, the last three Navi Customizer programs pulling up the list right now, which they, all of them are from Bug Fragments. Uh, and I grinded for those off-screen. You can see the number. Uh, but, when it comes to Bug Death Thunder, we're gonna grind for that on-screen. I feel like at least that one's fair. Uh, we also need... Not this. I should have... Yeah, I think I do. We need Electropulse 3A. And that's the last chip I need for the last program advance. So. So as you can see, there's only one more program advance. We can do that now. Right in here. But I'm going to hold off. Let's go ahead and go do some bug frag grinding. There's only a few things left. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna save bug death thunder for later. Let's just have that be last. We're gonna go ahead and go get the last of the Navi Customizer parts on screen right now. I should have, if I did the math right, I should have all enough bug frags to get the last three. We're gonna, then gonna grind for bug, uh, bug fragments for Bug Death Thunder. That'll be the first thing we do. Then after that, we'll do the program advance. That takes care of all the symbols. After that, I am going to legitimately get Proto Man SP. I feel like that's warranted. It doesn't feel right to just use the patch cards, but I had to. And then we'll go fight Falzar. And that should be it. Again, like I said, uh, I am not going to do the online PvP to get crossover points. So there are two secret chips that I'm missing. And it turns out there is a secret chip symbol at the start on the title screen. But the symbol also doesn't do anything. So I am not worried about it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I need to go bug, bug frag trader. I want to take care of that first. Oh no, I better do this. It, there's a green mystery data. It could, it could be something useful. There's that. Come on, what did we get? Navi plus 20. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we can actually just get this done today. Yeah, it was kind of on auto autopilot for a bit. It's okay. Alright. Uh, I can keep running away. Luckily, 
Luckily, the actual fight for bug fragments isn't that hard. It's just hoping to get the actual bug fragments instead of anything else. I should have checked that green mystery data. Oh, well. All right. Oh, let's grab this. You know, if the viruses will let me grab the green mystery data. It's always right before you're about to, like, get a treasure chest. And it's a virus in a box. Thanks. Just what I need. That's exactly what I needed today. Alright. Okay. Reflect. HP plus 400. Giga folder 1. There we go. And let's go ahead and compress those three we shall. Oh, well, those two. So we need... Reflect. L-A-A-B-R-R-L-R-L-R. -R -R -L -R -L -R. And then... Actually, it was Gigafolder 1, right? Yeah, I passed it. Okay. B L B. R L L L A B A. And then the last one was the HP 400. That doesn't compress. So that's good. That's done. But yeah, I have a feeling, I think with Proto Man, I might actually want Reflect. Sure, it only does 50 damage instead of 100. But, I think it's better than going Aqua Soul and using Charge Shots. So, I'm thinking I want to try that route. And if I'm doing that, then I don't think I'll need the Charge Attack Pluses. Like, my, my Buster improved. And, yeah, stuff like that. Anyway, off to Graveyard. Yeah, I get this again. How much more? Alright. Yeah, this is always the annoying part, isn't it? Just getting to graveyard. This way? No. I always get something confused. This way. I should just equip sneak run to then on the way, but there's a chance I get in Battle Green Mystery Data, and it ends up evening it out. Gold Mystery Data! What is this, like, my fourth or fifth one for the playthrough? I'm pretty sure I found this one, but no. No, I found a Gold Mystery Data in Undernet 3, but not this particular one. Blizzard Ball N, okay. I was hoping for Bug Fragments. Anyway... All right, made it to Graveyard. Let's go ahead and see if we can open up the green mystery data. What do we get? Bug Fragment, we'll keep that. We are looking for the fight with the two uh, sensor enemies. If I find the fight with the dragon and the... And the uh, shadow enemy will fight it, but I'm not going to lock enemy it. Because I'd rather have the two sensors, because that one's faster to take down. Where is... Because we defeated our beast out form, there's a chance we can fight him in Graveyard 1. But he's still... It's the same fight. It's not powered up. So... It's very easy. I'm not worried about it. I 
I wasn't planning on this. Okay. Well, I, I, even though I wasn't planning on this fight, I was expecting it to pop, probably pop up. Oh! I didn't realize he was doing this one. Alright. Okay. Uh, ooh, Falzar. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun with Falzar. Feels perfectly poetic. There we go. Four, so seven hits. Look at that, 700 damage. Granted, I got a little bit lucky on the feathers, but still. It's still 700 damage. There we go. Done. And for your reward, it's Zenny. It's always Zenny. You never get anything else. There's no point in fighting it. It's just an extra Zenny reward. Okay, I don't need this fight. Okay, I opened up both three mystery data. I need one Zenny reward. That way I could buy another lock enemy. But other than that, the rest is gonna be uh, bug fragments. Everything else will be bug fragments, so let's just go ahead and look for the for the in battle green mystery. It's gonna take a little bit. Nope, not this fight. So yeah, a rematch with Beast Out Mega Man is in Graveyard 1. You only get Zenny out of it. In Graveyard 2, Base BX is a random encounter now. I don't think you get anything out of it. I think you just get Zenny. So let's not go to Graveyard 2. <laughs> I don't think I can with too many different uh, Navi Cust colors being used. Well, we found it anyway. And we get meteors. Fine. That's fine. I just needed to find the fight anyway. Lock enemy. And now we're at the grindy part. Right. I need one Zenny reward, and the rest are buff fragments. And we are going to be very, very specific on our rewards. I'm going to make sure to get every bug fragment reward I can get out of this. It took me a little while to get all the bug fragments on my own time. Be happy that I did that on my own time. <laughs> I'm willing to do some grinding on my own time when I feel like, eh, you've seen it all. There's no point in doing it on screen. Bug Death Thunder, on the other hand, I figure might as well. Besides, if I did that off screen and I beat Proto Man and Falzar very easily, I don't know what we would do, so that's part of it. Alright, the rest is Bug Fragments. I have enough to buy another lock enemy. That's why it's a good idea to open the green mystery data on the way back to Graveyard, as well as get any attempts of in-battle green mystery data you can along the way. That way you have a chance... Uh, that way you would need less Zenny rewards when you get here. Any? Nope, I don't need that anymore. That's the sad part, isn't it? Alright. We're just gonna keep resetting 
until we get a bug fragment reward. And we need 100. More bug fragments, yay! I think... Based on my grinding attempts yesterday, and how much I was constantly trying to get only bug fragments, basically. I think we only need to do two more sets of lock enemy attempts. Maybe one more and a half, something like that. Five bug fragments, you know, it, it adds up. And that's not counting any bug fragments you get along the way. Nope. Let's try using up the RNG a little bit differently. Yeah, try running in a different direction. It might change the RNG. Yep, that's not what I want. Apparently that's how it works, like, the directions you run to use up certain RNG or something. I don't know. I can't really manipulate it, but sometimes I notice a change, and it's probably just dumb enough, but you never know. Just what I want. Meteors. It's not like I have seven or eight of them already. Hey, look, it's Falzar. I don't need to fight you. Just keep running around. That's not what I need to fight. Yep, this is what I was doing for a few hours yesterday. This is not what I need. I don't need Zenny rewards. I don't need to use up my lock enemy on you. What do we get? Okay, good. This is a good sign. That's not what I need. Just kind of running in a different direction to see if that changes anything. As long as I get a bug fragment reward, that's all I care about. Recover 300. This is the annoying part about this, this grinding. But it's like, we're almost done. We are almost done with this. No. Come on. It's like, we just need uh, like 77 more bug fragments. That's all I need. Bug fragments, yay. There we go, we'll keep that. See, we get them eventually. And... Come on, bug fragments. Three out of eight. Three out of eight chance. Yes. See, it's like sometimes... I'll get bug fragment rewards like two or three times in a row, basically. 
without much effort. But then other times it'll be like last time where it takes like five minutes to get a single bug fragment reward. But you know it's worth it to just reset and keep doing the keep doing it this way. I don't need to fight you. I don't need to prove anything. I got other ways to I, I got other things to prove. <laughs> Fragments. 48. Time to keep it going. Okay, we got another fight. Come on, bug fragments. Bug fragments, yay. 55. Or 53, my bad. Lock in me expired. There's no way to get another fight out of that. Leave, come back. Rinse, repeat. Alright. Let's go ahead and buy another lock in me. Sad part is, if I didn't buy the, the chip, I could have bought more lock enemies, but then I would need... I would also need to grind for more money to buy the chip. It's better to just do this one at a time anyway. Alright. Again, it's best to open green mystery data along the way. And get any in battle green mystery data you can. What did we get? any reward. I'll take it. That just... It just means I only need one Zenny reward from Graveyard now. So it's definitely worth it. Oh, right! The rare... The rare, uh... Viruses I still need. Do we care? Do we still care about that? I don't know. I completely forgot about that. I don't know. I don't think we really care, do we? Time to head back. And that was a Zenny reward? That Now that means I don't need a single Zenny reward from Graveyard. And that's why you pick up Green Mr. Dale all the way. On running. So I think we will need to do one more set of uh, graveyard for bug fragments after this. I think we'll just need one more set. I don't think you'll... I think we'll probably be getting about maybe 30 bug fragments out of this attempt. Is there a, is there a green right there? Yeah, there was. I just saw the playback. Yeah, we'll grab it. More zenny. I'm not going to go out of my way if it's in a completely opposite direction. Ooh, what are we uh, let's go ahead and go... Ah, we'll do this. Air hockey. Huh. 
Is it just like... I know it must be weak to breaker chips, but... Is it an instant kill if you use breaker chips? Because that shouldn't have... That looked like it did more than double damage. Hey, full of four bug fragments. That looked like... It looked like it did more than double damage. Sixty... 112? 120? It had like 160 health. It must be... Even more damage. Yeah, there's something else to it. Yeah, they're not just weak to breaker chip. Gold mystery data again? Blizzard Ball to end. Again, it's like... Again, that's either my fifth or sixth gold mystery data in this playthrough. That's a little ridiculous. That's really cool. it's, again, it's the same chip though. I didn't just, we didn't just re replay the video or anything. All right. We made it here. Gotta find the sensor enemies. Don't need this fight. data. Bug fragment. 58. We take any that we can get. Don't get this fight. If we run into Beast Out Mega Man, we'll still fight him. That's extra Zenny. You know, if it's before the, we find the sensor enemy again. So, like, I was kind of looking into the RV variants of the bosses that's in Graveyard 2. And, you know, when we fought them all, all we really got was Zenry rewards. And there wasn't really much else to it. So, I was thinking, like, what's the point of doing their RV rematches? Like, I, I was just thinking, like, what's the point of doing the RV rematches? If you're desperate for money, and you're at this point, you're almost better off maybe fighting Beast Out Mega Man with Lock In. Because that's... the fight's not hard. And you can just keep refighting. I'm not gonna Lock Enemy that one. The sensors are a lot faster. But we'll keep it. Uh, so, like, I was wondering what the point was. But then I... When I was looking into the whole uh, titles, symbols, yesterday, and I was seeing that there's one symbol that we cannot get because of the whole uh, battle chip gate thing not being available here. The whole reason why those... RV fights exist, from what I understand. What you what you need to do to get that symbol is... Okay, so apparently when you beat the game, the little desk in uh, Astroland upgrades, and when that upgrades, I think you need the Battle Chip Gate peripheral to add on to your Game Boy Advance, for one. But it allows you to pick... Uh, let you play as any of the five navvies that you normally can here, but with but with slightly different variables. So, like, I don't have to play as Mega Man, I can play as Aquaman. But it's not the same Aquaman as the one we typically already control. It's kind of a little bit weird. Like, there's slightly different properties, right? But what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take the battle chip gate versions of those navvies, obviously the five from your game, you need to power them up to their SP variants, meaning the one you control is stronger. I don't know how you do that. But once you do that, you need to take those, those navvies, get to Graveyard 2, have them refight all the RV navvies, 
then you fight base F SP again. Once you do that with all five of them, that's how you get the symbol. I think that's what it, I think that's the only reason these are the fight sixes. Because honestly, the RV fights is just like, okay, 3,000 zenny, anything else? drill. Man, it took like 10 minutes uh, to leave Graveyard, come back, and then like start, uh, and then it took even longer to just find the enemy in the first place. We'll do this fight. It's still a green mystery data. I just didn't want to lock enemy it. There we go, five blood fragments, 63. Yeah, I just didn't want to lock enemy that particular one. It, it's easy, at least with my setup, but it just takes a long time. That's, that's the only reason. Because look at this. It's understandable why I would want to lock enemy this fight. It only takes one, one and a half seconds. Five blood fragments. All right. 68. That's one away from the funny number. We're not getting that funny number. That's for sure. Alright. Fragments. Got lucky there. 73. Keep it going. Keep the luck going. gonna take five minutes to get the next set of bug fragments <laughs> whether it takes so long to find the enemy again or just get the right reward because that's how this works nope not this fight data, what do we get? Meteors. I don't need that. I don't need meteors. I have like nine of them. What do we get? Okay. What are we looking at? Zenny. No, I don't need Zenny. I already have enough to buy another lock enemy. fragments. It's a three out of eight. Three out of eight. Come on. There we go. Five bug fragments. We're at 78. Come on. 
Nope. Not this guy. Here. That's a one out of eight shot. How come I keep getting the one out of eights? Both the chips are of a one of eight chance. How come I keep getting those? It's not like I need them. thinking of something so after we defeated duo and four duo keeps watching over our progress right he keeps seeing what we're doing and how we're being a hero we're being a good person so he keeps well helping us is not the right word but he keeps giving us his fist you know to use uh, the fist of justice right he keeps giving us the fist of justice to use because he's seen the good deeds that we are doing, right? What? So they keep Duo in mind for five and six. How come we haven't heard from Serenade after three? You think Serenade would probably pop up every once in a while? Like actually come back and help you out against base or something? Because you'd think Serenade would be a bigger deal. Honestly, out of all the characters to come back, I, you'd think Serenade should. I know Serenade was, like, the guardian of, like, the secret area, but... you think Serenade would... Probably see a bigger threat and be like, you know what, I'm gonna help out. Or something. Or maybe Serenade's just like, nah, Mega Man's got this. Mega Man's got it. I don't know. Or maybe... Or maybe that's a question of what happened to Mamoru. I thought Mamoru was doing fine now, so... Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this fight. And yes, I have to charge up the popcorn move. If I don't, it's not enough to take down the dragon. Ah. Recover. Not what I need. Yeah, it's going to take like 10 minutes just to get another uh, bug fragment reward. And then I'll get like two more in a row. That's how it works. That's how it always works. We get bug fragments, yay. We have 83. Okay. Another bug fragment. Uh, well, another green mystery data. We get meteors. I don't want meteors. That's not what I want. attempt. Because the 300, not what I need. Okay. Alright, dragon. Let's we'll we'll fight the dragon. Yay. 
88. That is perfectly symmetrical. In every way. What do we need? Like, three more bug fragment rewards? Three more bug fragment rewards. Okay, green mystery data. Make it. But, uh, Zenny. Not what I need. Not what I need. a chance. Meteors? That's not what I need. I don't need meteors. Okay. Come on. Senny. I mean, that is a 3 out of 8 chance, but not the right one. Not the right three out of eight. Right. Zenny, come on. I don't need that. I don't need it. is it gonna take me to get all the bug fragments? Probably a full hour, right? At this point, it's getting close. Okay. Zenny. Bug fragments. 93. Lock and me expired. I did say it would probably take two more lock and me's. How many do I have? So. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if we can find two bug fragments at the very least along the way, then it means I only need one single bug fragment reward out of, uh, out of Graveyard. I mean, I, I expected this to happen. I expected this to be the case. But yeah, it's so annoying. Very annoying when it does. Take that. 
take the in-battle ones. And what did we get? Zenny. Okay, fine, whatever. I already have Zenny to buy another one, so that's a good issue. Just kind of hoping for another in-battle green. Wait, did I see... Nah, I'm not going to go back for that. It just would be nice if I could get some extra group, uh, bug fragments along the way. Too out of the way. That's a little too out of the way. Green mystery data? Zenny? Okay. The graveyard. Made it back. Let's check the green mystery data. More Zenny. Okay. There's one more somewhere. Oh, hey, look, the dragon. Again, I won't lock any of it, but hey, we might get Zenny reward or Buck Pregnant reward. more likely to get a reward that I don't want than one that I do. See? Alright. Although, granted, because I need so little bug fragments left, I probably could have locked it in me that one. Because I only need two rewards, but, you know, so... I'd rather still just find the sensor enemy. Sensor eye? Killer eye? I think it's the eye. usually like to run around. Now to find the killer eyes. Let's see. Nope. Nothing. They have done the anything. Where is the killer eye? He's here somewhere. You know, after Battle Network 3, the killer eyes have just kind of been extinct. Now they've come back. And now Lan's gonna exterminate them all over again. <laughs> it's kind of weird how some viruses come back after a while. Even though it looks like the viruses were, like, extinct for a while. Granted, because they're viruses, I think someone could just make 
a new batch if I wanted to, so I think it's not out of the question why viruses would come back. Because these breaker enemies came back from three. We've seen the piranhas back from one, I think. Well, they might have been two. One or two. But I think the explanation is someone could just easily make a new version of it. It's not impossible. You're like, hey, this old ship uh, re references a virus that was extinct. Let's recreate it. Why would I do that? I don't know, but we do that anyway. I mean, we've seen plenty of scientists be like, I'm a virus breeder. I create viruses. So it's not out of the question. Also, I just realized, I think the spiky enemy, the spiky enemies are not here. The ones that give us, like, heat shot. Like those dog ones. I think they've been gone sin since 5. I don't remember them being in 5. And if they were, then they're gone here. But there's no chip revolving the spiky enemy. So, like, the question is, is the virus extinct or are we just not in the right areas? Because if it was extinct, you would see a grayed out version of it. Those mine enemies have been extinct for a while. We just see the remnants of the chips that people recreate, I guess. Ah, uh, here we go. Finally found it. So, I have 98. I gotta use my lock enemy. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. So, how long does it take to get uh, my last bug fragment reward that I need? Let's see how long it takes. Nope. That was recover. That's not bug fragments. That's not what I need. No, don't need this. I don't have to reset now that I think about it, since I only need one reward. <laughs> Just doing this out of habit now. Actually, I might keep that in mind. Might be faster to just let the game play out. I only need one bug fragment reward. Meteors don't need that, but I'm not. I'm not going to save. But I'm going to keep going. Okay. We get meteors. I'm liking this so far, clearly. Let's try it again. We get... Meteors! How come I keep getting the one in eights? And it's the same one, too. It's not even recovery. Another attempt. The game knows I, I just need one more upset with bug fragments. The game knows. Recovery. A different one in eight for sure, but it's still a one in eight. That's the fourth one in a row. We're gonna have to reset soon. His lock enemy's gonna expire. Oh, where is it? Meteors! 
That's five one in eight chances in a row. And four of them were the same ones. Another attempt. A recover 300. Six one and eights in a row. You see why I just reset all the time? Lock enemies gonna end. Yeah, there it is. Most of, some of those were not even green mystery data battles. But out of the six that I fought, all six were the one and eights. And four of them were in the same code. Or the same chip. Okay, whatever. I just need one more, and the game knows it. The game knows I only need one more. Well, that is a 3 out of 8 chance, but not the right one. Not the right 3 out of 8. Again, that is a 3 out of 8, but not the right one. Okay, we'll do this fight. Uh, I think I have to do this. I don't think this risky hunting will be strong enough, but I gotta do it. Okay. That's green. If that's bug fragments, it is recovery. Another attempt. Meteors. You see why I just reset all the time when I'm only looking for bug fragments. Ridiculous. We get recovery. I just need one more reward. <laughs> just one more. The game won't hand me it. It won't. It just won't. Zenny. This is dumb. This is so dumb. Three out of eight, come on. Recovery. Recovery, come on. Uh, come on, I don't need that. I don't need it. Meteors. Lock enemies got it. There it is. I was going to say, it has to expire soon. <laughs> this is so dumb. Do you see why... Do you see why I just reset? Because I only had, like, one single bug fragment reward out of this whole entire, like, session right here. And I didn't even get good Zenny out of this out of these attempts. Like I mostly got the chips. Again, I don't know if that's lucky or unlucky. It's lucky in the sense that I'm constantly getting the one and eights, but it's unlucky because I don't even want those. All right, another attempt. Been a while since we ran into 
Uh, Beast Mega Man. Adds playing. Nope. No luck. Keep it going. Yeah, the ad has one more minute left, but I still need bug fragments. I mean, I did say, like, how this tends to work is sometimes you'll get bug fragments like three times in a row with no issues whatsoever, but then other times it'll take ten minutes to get a single one. That's typically how this works. That's typically how it works. It's more zenny. That's not what I need. Lock in the expire. Stone. Green mystery data. Looks like ads just ended, and we get meteors. I had to reset because lock enemy ended. Still no bug fragments. We're almost at 10 minutes. We're almost at 10 minutes. Since I got the last set of bug fragments. This is so dumb. This is like the worst part of Battle Network. Just like this type of grinding. At least Battle Network 3 was very easy to get bug fragments if you use Reflect and just go to the dog house or something. Even if you need a lot of bug fragments for Battle Network 3. Um... Battle Network 4 and 5, bug fragments are still just as tedious. At least in Battle Network 5, if you only care for Zenny, there's a fast way to get it. If that's all you care about. But at least with Battle Network 5, if you're going for bug fragments, you could just go to Undernet Area 1 and stand next to the subchip dealer. It's too bad Nebula Area just doesn't give you good... Uh, bug fragments, any rewards. Still nothing. Hey, look! Look who it is! Been a while. that if I get hit while I have the bees out, it acts as a shield. That's why... Okay. I don't... I never actually put that together. I never actually put that together. So that's how I get the second set of bees to attack. Okay. That's good to know. I, I, I just never put two and two together. That's how it worked. Lock enemy expired. Because I'm like, well, I'm gonna get her, but no, it acts like a shield. Another attempt. Is it bug fragments? Is it bug fragments? Yes, it is! Took more than 10 minutes to do so, but hey, we got it. Yay, that's done. We got a hundred bug fragments. Now we can get the last Giga Chip. Time to go, for, uh, go to the 
traitor. Alright. You know, you never need to buy this. This mine. You never need to buy it. Unless you just want the code. Or this grab revenge. You do need the bubble wrap, though, for that trading scene. Uh, for that side quest. But here it is. Bug Death Thunder. Why can I get two? Why am I able to get two? Is it the same reason as Colonel, where it can at least let you have two of them, one for each folder if you wanted to? That's weird. I don't get it. That is all of the Giga Chips. So, I think how this works is... It, is, it just sends a ball of electricity, kind of like the... It's kind of like these. Uh, it, it's reminiscent of the Dark Thunder chip in Battle Network 5. Uh, which I didn't show because I was playing Team Colonel and not Team Proto Man. But how this works is the more bug... For I think it just uses up a bug fragment. So you need to you need to have bug fragments on you in the first place. If you have zero bug fragments, you cannot actually use the ship. Damage-wise, I don't know how much it does. I want to say 400, but maybe it's determined by how many bug fragments you have. I'm not sure. If you're playing Gregar, you get a dark sword, I think. But now we got one more program advance. Let's get this done. So we need Eluct Pulse 3A. We need. I already have Risky Honey 3A in the folder still. So I need Fire. Fire Hit 3A. Aqua Needle 3A. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this last program advance. Just. There's one. There's two. stand here and do nothing. Let's get rid of these. We have three. We have three of them. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Yeah, get rid of you. It doesn't matter. I could just stand here and do nothing. Alright. Circus Man... Get rid of anti sword. Yeah, we'll do this. Now, I think I remember the. the code order. Two. I'm just looking it up just in case because I think I remember the order, but I want to make sure. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Uh, throw these two in. Okay, still waiting for Risky Honey 3. That's... Okay, whatever. Still nothing. Still nothing. Let's get rid of these two. There we go. Okay, so. Fire Hit 3A. Aqua Needle 3A. Elect Pulse 3A. Risky Honey 3A. It has to be in that order. 
Program Advance, Master Cross. Third damage each. Okay. Interesting. So what, it could deal like 400 damage in total? Notice how it went to Drill instead, even though it was showing Guts. Or, or Dust, I mean. I don't... It, it may be random on what it chooses, but it just chooses all your cross forms. It's supposed to reference all of the... All of the uh, the th the elements from Battle Network three. Let me look for. I'm looking for popcorn. Let me get my folder back to where it was. Don't need that. Uh, we could set. I think I want fast gauge on my shortcuts. We keep life or uh. Fine. I need to get rid of fire hit three. What did I have? I had sanctuary for a second, but is there something else I can replace? Um, not really seeing something I would want. I might just grab another Invis or something. Sanctuary is kind of hard to use. There's, oh right, I had air spinners, but nah, I'm good. So we're gonna no boiler, time bombs. Right, I had guardian. Do I like guardian back in? I haven't really actually used guardian that much. It hasn't been that useful. Let's go ahead and grab, um, yeah, let's just grab another invis, and we'll get rid of fire hit three. All right, that's kind of my folder. Make a save, we'll make another save, and as you can see, All of the top row is complete. That's the important ones to worry about. Again, the bottom row is Proto Man FZ, which you need to do every single side quest or request BBS, including the patch card ones. The one in the middle we can't get because it requires Battleship Gate, and that's something that's impossible to do here. And then the secret chips, like I said, I need to. I would need to do online battles to get points to get the last two secret chips. That, so that's not going to happen. With that in mind, we could fight Falzar. However, I think I need to legitimately beat... I need to legitimately get Proto Man SP. I feel that is fair. So there is something I want to try. I'm going to actually throw in and Reflect. And then can I custom to undershirt? Okay. I don't think I need my Mega Buster. So that's why I'm not really worried about Buster Pack. Being said, what else can I throw in? Up here, Buster Pack, Body Pack. That's not needed. Folder pack, I don't, I don't need folder pack. Granted, I can fit it in, and that would just be a custom one mega folder one, and I, but I don't, I don't really use mega chips. Not, not really, I only have like three in my folder, and even then Circus Man is just kind of there. Another custom folder, custom one is not bad though, and I consider that. I can't, I, that would, this is impossible, this is impossible to fit in. I might consider Folder Pack 1. I don't need Bug Stop Rush to Alright, I might throw in... I, I still... You know what? I think I will still try to throw in these couple of these. Wait. What about Attack Max? Can I get Attack Max in? Oh my god, I can. 
Okay, I can't get char- No, I could get charge max, and that's all I would want. And then we could throw in a speed. We could try this. Alright. Let's beat Proto Man legitimately. Let's get- let's legitimately get the SP chip. I'm hoping Reflect is gonna help me. Let's see. Um, the problem. You know what? I think we're gonna go with Dust. But we're not really gonna be utilizing the Charge Shot. It's mostly so we can get through the chips. Now we'll just go ahead and use Risky Honey. dust and reflect that's not possible I'm gonna lose the fight dust and reflect can't combo I can't do it that's not gonna work all right I can't use dust that sucks I basically have to choose reflect or uh, I have to choose Reflect, or I have to choose getting through chips. So in that case, we could go ground. Or we could go Tomahawk. Well, let's go Tomahawk. Let's do this. Let's try this. Okay. We're going fast gauge. Try to utilize chips. Wait a minute, can you not use Reflect when you're in a cross form? It's base Mega Man only? I'm trying. It's not working. Okay. I don't think we can utilize crosses. Not for not not with Reflect. All right, let's try it again. Base Mega Man it is. Base Mega Man it is. Uh, we'll go this route. Let's just try to get rid of a lot of chips. That was what I was hoping for. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use these up. Okay. Um, that's gonna be hard to use. But I can't really pair anything else up. Unless I go air hockeys? We can try. Okay. Now uh, that's... Okay. out. Okay. Next. Whiskey honey? 
Whiskey honey roll. Corn shot. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I got hit. I think I'm taking too long, though. Fowls are, or I can use Double Beast. Okay. Well, that's EX. I, I, I at least have that. That was way better. I don't need these. So, if I don't need those, how about we get... Uh, I could get Folder Pack. Sure. Why not? I haven't- I wasn't using my Mega Buster. Alright. I'm using Reflect to protect myself, and it was the same damage as Aqua. So that's good. Don't, none of those. Okay. Nice. Ooh, I lucked out there, and that was a counter. That helps. All right. So let's go ahead and go. Yes. up. I will go ahead and get rid of my attack plus 10. I need to use up chips. I left out there. Falzar? Let's see. Yes! And that, my friends, is Proto Man SP legitimately. Required Reflect. But hey, that's a legit Proto Man SP. We'll take it. We will take it. And that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to take. Okay, well, let me take a second to put my stuff back. I kind of like my normal setup. Uh, so I mean, Buster Pack, it was like this. Custom ones. And attack. The speed. And charge. Alright. Alright, well. So I got plenty of time. I, that was earned. Uh, so good to know. Reflect is, even though it's not as good, it's helpful against Proto Man. Granted, I got a little bit lucky with Falzar, but honestly, it required some luck with either Falzar or Bodyguard. Something. Okay. You know what? Since we got time, how about we find the rare viruses? The ones I'm missing. We got time. Why not? So, Champy, uh, this is the win box, which I don't know if I've taken out enough. Which I could go to air conditioner. That helps. Starfish. Earth Dragon. Immortal area. Okay, we could do that. Mr. Weather 3 for Pulse Bomb. Underground. Underground 2. Okay. Might as well, right? I got plenty of time. We'll see how much I can get. 
I just figured, might as well just kill some time. Maybe we'll get the ra uh, the rest that I'm missing. Maybe we'll just go to Bowser after a little bit. Really depends. We'll see. So now we need. We're going to Immortal area. Well, and to Underground too. So we're gonna hang out in both Underground two and Immortal area. And I do not want to fight the Count or Colonel. I mean, more so, I don't want to fight the Count, but you know. Probably will end up running out of them. Okay. Central Area 3. Time to hang out in Underground 2. However, if I run into any of the sword enemies, or the shadow enemies, I better fight them while I can. I'm pretty sure there are shadow enemies in Underground 2. I don't want to fight Colonel, if possible. I'll make a save after every shadow I take down. I'm pretty sure they are in here. I might double check underground area. I know some, uh, there were some areas that have two different types of rare enemies. This might be one of them. But I'm gonna double check. Maybe uh, there also could be uh, virus enemies could be in a different area. So a nightmare underground two. That's what this is saying. But the first, but the actual virus itself. I'll double check to see if it's actually here. Yep, there it is. collection. There's a 70% uh, percent chance of fighting them in guide panel, so that's a lot, actually a lot. That's a, actually a better spot. Copy bot comp for 25%. You're better off at guide panel. 13% chance to find them here. And there's the rare enemy. Well, that was easy. That was easy. Gauge, Laura, because why not? Done. We got the nightmare virus. All right, immortal area. We need to fight dragons. Go ahead and double check. Uh, we want Earth Dragon. This says Immortal Area. If you're playing English GBA, you're going to Graveyard. Uh, there's a 7% chance of finding Earth Dragons here, just in general. Uh, if you want a better shot, Pavilion Pump 4? has a 4%, or no, has a 30 29.2% chance of finding them. So that's better. And I think it's any dragons you take down. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the level 1 variants. Yeah, I think it just means any dragon type. 
any of them works. I better make a save while I can. But yeah, if you if you need to take down dragons, pavilion comp four, you have a better shot there. I don't think we ever found this enemy. There's a white dragon. And it's in this area. I don't know if we ever found it. I mean... It seems like it just has a chance to give you, like, any of the other ones. There's also a black dragon, too. I don't remember if we ever saw these. Interesting. Hey, look, it's the Count. I don't care. I don't, I'm not fighting you. Maybe the white and black dragon are the rare variants. Maybe those are the rare variants. Uh, yeah, I'm still probably better off with Tomahawk. Just take down any dragons I can find. Hey, look, more bug fragments. It is five bug fragments, though, so you could probably use Immortal Area. Huh. You could use Immortal Area instead if you want. For bug frag grinding. Granted, I just think the Green Mystery Day of the Fight in, in, in Graveyard 1 is just way better. So... Yeah, it takes more time to get there, but it's a faster fight, so take your pick. Take your pick. Go, we get the white dragon. I think this is what I need to fight. Actually, two of them. Wait, are earth dragons? Hold on. Earth dragons. They are fire. I had a feeling. Even though, why aren't they called fire dragons? I don't know. Do this. Turning some of those panels. I got rid of some. Ah. Okay, we're going Tengu. We are going Tengu. We got the Earth Dragon. The white... Okay, so the white dragon and the black dragon are the rare variants, so they don't say rare. Good to know. Alright. So, complete. So, now, if I'm correct, we only need two more. Windbox, which we have a better shot of destroying them in air conditioner, so we may just go and fight, like, a good ten of them. Just a guarantee. And then this one, we need to go to Mr. Weather 3 for the for the electric enemy. Okay. Off to Sky Area. Two more rare viruses. After that. I don't think there's anything else after that other than to refight Falzar.
let's go ahead and fight a good... I don't know. We'll fight a good, like, five to ten boxes. And that should be enough. just need to fight a few just to make sure because I just don't think I was I actually took down enough of them. Again, it's just it doesn't matter how which variant. I don't think so. Perfect. I did the grindy for the bug fragments off screen, and it was a good thing I did that, but with how fast some of this is taking, I probably could have done the bug frag grinding on the screen. Uh, but we would still be at it, so it was better that I did that off screen. But even so, like, the rest of this did not take long. My strategy for Proto Man just ended up working out. It was basically a similar idea to the Aquaman one, where I just hit him as soon as he goes to attack me. But the difference is... With Aquaman, I would hit, I would hit Proto Man, and then he has invincibility frames. And sometimes when he attacks, I either don't have the full charge shot, which that's usually not the problem. He's usually still invincible by the next time he attacks. Meaning, I use my buster, I miss because he's still invincible, and then I get hit. So the shield was just the better option because it's the same damage. It's the same damage, but like... Yeah, same damage, but no invincibility frames, and I get to constantly protect myself from his attacks. Just hang on the back row. Hang on the back center. That's all you need to do. Every time he goes to attack you, just throw a reflect up. Reflect still has its uses. Probably a couple more boxes. Mr. Weather. better at their auto-targeting, but I think it makes sense why they wouldn't be. They are going beast out. They're kind of in a rage. Alright. Let's see if that's good enough. Off to Mr. Weather. We gotta hang out in Area 1. Find the rare variant of the fan or the wind box. I get why you would want the wind box during virus battler stuff. 
But my question is, what do you get out of finding a rare variant? I need to fight the elect pulses, but I, I have a feeling I have fought enough of them. I'm pretty sure I've killed at least 16. We're looking for it yet? There's the rare box. There it is. We'll go Tomahawk. We'll go ahead and use this. Don't even need to charge it up. It might just give you more Zenny or something if you get the rare box drop, because it's only going to be a star code. Alright, now we need to head to Mr. Weather 3. We'll grab this. Alright, Mr. Weather 3. I'm going to go ahead and double check. Full spawn, Mr. Weather 3. One more rare enemy, and that should be it. Nope, don't need this. Okay, come on. If I find any more elect pulses, I will take them out just in case I actually don't have the 16 kills. I'm pretty sure I do. I fought a decent amount of them in, uh, in the other area. That's not a fight that I'm looking for. Tyler, it's been a little while. Uh, you're here for basically the finale. Uh, I'm just getting the last rare virus, really, just to kill some time. But we're going to be fighting Falzar for the, the rematch. I have all of the everything else done. You're basically here for the finale. I just figured, ah, oh, let's kill some more time. How do we kill time? I don't know. I'm missing four rare viruses. Might as well go after them. So that's what I'm doing. I got one more to get. Because why not? I'm here anyway. And then we're going after Falzar. For the, uh, the Omega variant, I think it's what it's categorized. Falzar Omega is tough. We'll, we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, uh... So, what I specifically did today was... Last night, I did bug fry grinding off-screen to get the last of the Navi customizer parts from the bug frag trader. On-screen... On-screen, we did, uh... Bug Frag uh, grinding to get Bug Death Thunder, the last Giga Chip that was missing. After that, I got the last program advance, which was uh, the Element Master. Battle Network 3 1. I just needed money to buy Elect Pulse uh, 3A, which I already had the money for, so I bought that. The Gregor rematch was pretty tough. Yeah, honestly, the last couple rematches... Oh, the, here's the fight. The last couple rematches have been pretty tough uh, for final bosses. Freaking uh, Nebula Grey took me forever. Nebula Grey took me forever. Duo was pretty bad, too. But honestly, I think Nebula Grey took me the longest so far. There we go. 
That, that's that. Uh, so yeah. After grinding for the bug fragments for Bug Death Thunder, we did the program advance. I legitimately fought Proto Man to get Proto Man SP because I don't know if you saw, but I soft locked myself and I had to use the patch cards to get the Proto Man chip just so I could get to Graveyard. So I legitimately got uh, Proto Man SP. And then I had plenty of time left, so I figured, ah, let's get the last of these. But as you can see, we got all the. We got all the important symbols. Bottom row, I'm just gonna re reiterate. We already beat Proto Man uh, FZ. We can't get the middle one because uh, they took out Battle Chip Gate in all versions in Legacy Collection, so you can't get that one. The last one is the secret chip symbol, which to get the secret chip symbol, uh, you need to get Bok Top crossover points, which requires online battles. So I'm not going to bother with that. Other than that, you need to just get these, which I just used the patch cards for. But the other two secret chips, you need to play online battles to get crossover points and then you can get the two other ones. So I just figured, eh, I'm not going to do that. It's not required. Besides, the symbol doesn't do anything for you, so it's just an extra symbol. Felt so good to finally beat him. Yeah, it, it is def- Protoman FZ is definitely a perfect final battle for your rival, especially for the final Battle Network game. It felt so thematic, basically. So now we are going to fight Falzar. And that'll be it. But yeah, the only thing I'm not really going to do is the secret chips. But other than that, we did everything. But yeah, uh, one thing I've been thinking about. Uh, so during the base BX fight... Uh... He says he got the power of a beast, right? And in that fight, he starts using... He, he has the Gregar head in this game. Or if you're playing Gregar, he has the Falzar head, right? For an attack. Uh, it makes me think of what uh, the manga did with this scenario. Because what the manga did was... Base just straight up gets uh, becomes base Falzar. You know, Mega Man goes beast out with uh, Mega Man Gregar. The manga officially has him as Gregar. But then Base shows up in the manga and he's like, I have the power of beast. And he goes base Falzar. I'm like, oh, that's such a better idea. I wish base BX was just beast out base. That would have been way better. Right, here we go. It's time to refight Falzar. Falzar SP. Okay. I know he can do a fire attack, but Tomahawk Man is still my better option. Let's go ahead, unless I want to get rid of chips with dust. Let's use this up. Let's see how Falzar goes. I gotta remember his attack pattern. Because I don't remember it. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember it. The problem with Falzar is just, I never know where he's actually positioned, because, you know, he's flying. I can't tell what square he's on. I think I just need to actually pay attention to where his head is located. Uh, R, S, and T. Too bad we can't use grass tiles here. So we just gotta have the three, uh, 350 damage. Oh, 
I can't use these. I can't use these. Gonna have to get rid of them eventually. Okay, that's 700 damage. No. Yeah, that's 700. Okay. Okay. Um... Let's use these. What? Let's go dust. It's a break. Search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll go dust. We'll go dust. I should have swapped to this sooner. Okay, okay. Circus man? No, wait, hold on. I don't I can't use these. Let's throw them in here. Can we hit him with Double Beast? <laughs> Can we hit him? Yes! Okay. Um, what? Let's throw this in. Anti-Navi. Anti-Sword. Anti-damage. Attack plus 10. Let's just throw in Circus Man for good measure. Program advance. Bodyguard. First try. So... Nebula gray, gray is the hardest one. <laughs> Nebula, I, I, in my opinion, Nebula Gray Omega is the hardest fight. At least based on like my streams, based on what I've, you know, I fought on streams. Nebula Gray is the hardest. Then Duo because that took the most attempts. After Nebula Gray, we'll let we'll let this play out. Um. So yeah, then Nebula Gray, Nebula Gray, Duo. The problem is every other one I think took me one attempt. Because I feel like Alpha did not take that long. So it kind of depends. I would say difficulty wise, I would say Alpha's next because of his whole like regeneration thing. Where you have to hit him multiple times just to open the core. Uh, Falzar Gospel? No. Falzar Gospel Alpha? No, not Alpha. Uh, Life Virus. And Al Life Virus is cheating because he doesn't have a upgraded form. So, yeah, so that's a little bit unfair, but yeah. I, because I haven't... Uh, play through Gregar or replay through Gregar. I don't know how tough Gregar actually is in comparison, so I can't use that right now. But I'd say that's the ranking of difficulty final bosses for the true final boss. Uh, yeah. Well, that's Battle Network 6. <laughs> that did not take that long. So, uh, I guess while this is playing through, I think we'll probably end stream soon because we're at the two hour mark and I can take the time to like I gotta do yard work that's a little extra time to get some stuff done but so when it comes to battle when it comes to Mega Man going forward or when it comes to battle network going forward uh, I have a feeling I want to do operation 4.5 at some point I don't know when but I think I want to tackle that 
And because Graveyard basically told me that Battleship Challenge and Network Transmission are canon, that tells me we need to do Battleship Challenge, even though it makes no sense why it's canon. Actually, it makes no sense why either of them are canon, but Battle Network says 6 basically confirmed that those two games are canon, so I guess we'll play Battleship Challenge. And when we do, we'll probably just use Retro... We'll probably have Retro Achievements, because why not? And make it slightly more interesting, a little bit more goal-oriented there. I don't know when I'll get to either of those, but logically... You got to see the finale. Yeah, exactly. Uh, logically, though... Okay, this was the fastest... This was the fastest uh, post-game completion, I think. I need to compare it with my other times, but Battle Network 4 and 5 took me about 60 hours to 100%. This was a lot faster. I don't know why this was a lot faster, but this was. Uh, I need to compare my times with 1, 2, and 3 as well. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry. So yeah, 4.5, Battle Chip Challenge. We'll probably do at some point, don't know when. Uh, I don't see myself playing Operation Shooting Star, because all that is is a remake of Battle Network 1 with an extra scenario that's a crossover between Star Force. Granted, there's an extra new Navi to fight there, so that's interesting, but I just don't see myself doing Operation Shooting Star. Not in the nearby future. Uh, but I guess when it comes to Mega Man in general, logically the next one I might tackle would be Star Force. The problem is, I feel like with Star Force, I kind of want to... I either want to wait for a Legacy Collection, or if I'm going to play Star Force, I think I want to play the... What is it, like the ROM hack, where it's Star Force 1 DX, or I think is what it's called, where it kind of combines all three versions into one. I'd rather play that version, but Battle Network... Star Force 1 is the only one that has that hack, I believe. 2 and 3 don't have that. So I almost would rather wait for either the Legacy Collection, whenever that happens, or I wait for DX hacks of 2 and 3. I'm not sure which. But there's also other Mega Man games that we could play. Like Classic, X, Zero... I haven't streamed any of those, so any of those are options. Uh, but yeah, the next game, however, that's just Mega Man in general. The next game I'm going to be playing that will start next week is Fire Emblem 3, Mystery of the Emblem. Uh, that is the last Fire Emblem game I have not personally played before, so I want to tackle that, and it's been a little while since we've tackled... Uh, I guess it was FE6 was the last new one for me that I haven't tackled. So yeah, it's been a while. I want to I wanna play through Fire Emblem 3. I guess we'll go through bo both of the books for Fire Emblem 3, because that's the Fire Emblem 3 experience. I will probably throw in retro achievements in with, uh, with uh, Fire Emblem 3, although I probably won't go for 100% retro achievements. It's just more of... Let's just see what achievements I could get while playing through Fire Emblem 3. But yeah, that's the plan. And we should have a... I am going to go ahead and just speak through the text. Um, I don't know how I feel about Wily becoming a good guy here. But then again, I guess him becoming a good guy means this is the good future more or less. And the fact that Star Force had to create like an alien race just to be the bad guy says a lot more. But I guess this is the good future. Yeah, I'm not really, a, I don't think I'm really a fan of Wily turning to be a good guy here. Uh, yeah, it just feels sudden. Not sudden, but I don't know. It just... It doesn't feel fully earned, but whatever. This is a game for kids. I don't know. But yeah, I would love another battle network. Let's see. Mega Man Battle Network. 
end. Not Battle Network 6, Battle Network. There's usually a congratulations screen. There we go. That's kind of cool. I think I'll leave it here for a second. Oh, there was an ad playing. Dang it. I would have hit snooze if I noticed. Hold on. This is kind of awkward, but oh well. Uh, let's see. 15 seconds. I'm out of water. All right. 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ad ended. Uh, ad should be done. But yeah, uh, kind of shows off each of the cross forms turning into the beast out mode. Kind of cool. Kind of a cool uh, thanks for playing, I guess. I think, what was it? Battle Network 5, I think, had the lamest one. Oh yeah, there's that. If we go back to the title screen. No, I meant quick, so sorry. Q, you must be tired. Why don't you take a quick all Wait right. a minute. Let's go. That's not what I meant to do, hold on. You were awesome uh, back there. This hold on a second. The, oh, wow. Hold on. Well, I'm not going to go after it, like I said. I think to get the completed category here, because when you when you actually do everything, you get the completed here. I think you need every secret chip for this to count as completed. It's not counted. I still think it's optional. However, uh... Apparently, the game doesn't say that. Maybe in the future we'll go back and do this, but for right now, I'm not going to. I'll boot up the gallery. Since that was the last one, might as well look Understood. in here, I guess. Uh, use at least one download chip or patch card in every game. That's easy. This is easy. I just haven't done it yet. Just listen to one song from each game. That's easy. I just haven't done it. Complete all three games. Take part in 100 battles. That's easy. S rank anything use a program advance just keep going into the internet a hundred times collect every standard ship in battle network 4 beat top man spark man burn man video man cold man kendo man complete red sun i did not play through red sun so yeah complete blue moon did that reach undernet 5 in battle network 4 remember you had to do your third playthrough to get there accumulate the six souls in red sun it's weird because I shouldn't have gotten this because I was playing Blue Moon, but when you fight the six navvies, even in Blue Moon, you still get this, even though you don't have the souls. It just means fight those six navvies. It doesn't matter if you have the souls or not, because I was only playing Blue Moon. I still don't know what these are. I might actually look that up. I might actually look that up very quick, because I still don't know what these two are. Oh, yeah. Uh, complete Colonel. I did not play Proto Man, so I don't have that. I don't know what the. Oh, yeah. Use every double soul in Team Colonel. This is the Team Proto Man one. Complete Liberation 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Acquire every dark chip. Get to Graveyard in Battle Network 6. Uh, complete all the requests, including the event cards in Battle Network 6. Complete Gregar. Complete Falzar. I did not play through Gregor, obviously. Earn your first virus battle win. Uh, defeat the gold Mr. Prog in a virus battle. That's a virus battle in a minigame. These are the five uh, crosses from Gregor. 
and then the five crosses from Falzar. So, other than other than these two, I have basically all I can get at the moment. Huh? Let me look up what these two are, because I, I have no clue. Uh, legacy. Sorry. Battle Network. Let's see. Election. Two trophies. Trophies, achievements, whatever it is. Yeah. PSN trophies are the same ones. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Use the red sun chip. Use the blue moon chip. I never use blue moon because, uh, one, you get it so late, and two, there are better giga chips. Well, good to know that that's what these were. Uh, okay. Well, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna call it. And that'll be it for Battle Network. Maybe all of Battle Network. Well, no, I said I might go. I'll probably play some other ones eventually. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. Next week, Fire Emblem 3, and I'll throw in retro achievements. Granted, I'm not planning to get all of them. It's just more of let's see what I can get while I stream. All right. Have a good day. Later. See you next week.